Okay. At this point, the coil packs are off both sides. Been there, done that. Intake manifold. All right. The intake manifold, we're taking direction from 1A auto.com or something like that and they said to start with those three eight millimeter bolts go to those three eight millimeter bolts take those off disconnect that little guy with the green wire right there and that little guy with uh, going into the alternator right there uh, and then I believe he said 10 millimeter bolts for the throttle body We'll come back before we get to that. One thing I will say is documenting this is a real fucking pain in the ass. All right, those bitches right there, three, those are eight millimeters. Those bitches back there are 10 millimeters. So correction from the last video, just in case I have any question when they end up in the bag on the other end. All right, uh, that 1A Auto uh, glazed right over how to remove the these two items right here. So, it'll take it to wide open throttle. Try to do this without my hand in the way. And then it comes right out, right out the front. Like so. I'm going to put it back in because I'm going to need to put it back in. Can you see it, Robbie? Can you get, bring the camera over that way a little bit so that you can see this? Go in here like this. Can, did you see that? And then over, like that. Sort of. Sort of. Well, just like that, and it's on. All right, now pause it. All right, so for the cruise control, I'm just going to mark threads, so I remember where it was, and I'm just going to unscrew this. Maybe I'm not. Oh, joke's on me joke is on me all right stop it okay okay and unscrew oh it's stubborn all right it's time to move these guys away to the side there all right next victim is a throttle body i think it's three ton three 10 millimeter bolts and away we go Oh, by the way, there's a hose right there. Uh, see the throttle body's got hoses coming up both sides? Well, this one on the left, I've accounted for on the sheet. Uh, the one on the right, I have not accounted for because I just saw it. Um, so, that's that. Just as a reminder. All right, it's throttle body time. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, finally. Finally making some headway. Throttle body. Off. Alright, so we're going to try to start getting some of these uh, wire harnesses out of the way. I'm going to start with that 8mm bolt right there. So you can see where it is. It's like right behind where the throttle body was. I guess it's holding that clamp uh, holding down this guy right there, I think. Now, as far as that 8mm bolt is concerned, seeing as how there's only one of them, I am putting it in this bag right here so that I know where it is. Alright? Okay, correction. It was a 10mm 10 10 bolt, but look what it does. It allows that one 10mm bolt. See all that crap right there? And when I say crap, I mean these two big suckers. It allows this whole thing to get off. But, oops, I mean, it allows this whole thing to come off, all right? But, next, I believe, is going to be that, that right there. And then I think that there's another one way, way, way back there. Can you see it? Way back there. All right, so this blue one is next, I think. Okay, so 10 millimeter wire connector bolt black and what I mean by black is that I took a sharpie and I made it black on the bottom so that I could differentiate it from those three throttle I don't know what those look like I already forgot so they're all going in the same bag so black 
Got it? Got it. Okay, I made two more disconnections. The blue to the blue, I didn't label because they're obviously blue to blue. And as you can see back there, there's a number four, way, way, way closest to the firewall. There's a connection that there's fours on that, and then there's fours on its friend right there. That would focus. Here's the fours, kind of a red connector. Goes, come on now. four that connects with the uh, other one that says four so now we've got this guy right here this hose going into the top of the intake manifold and going down to the back the very 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 back of this valve cover um, that might be the PVC I don't know what the hell it's called but I think it needs to go next okay that hose was very easy to get out and it was in the very, very, very back of the valve cover. It's got oil on it, so PVC, I don't know. Something like that. All right, in order to get this clip off, you're supposed to be able to just press and slide, but it's not that easy. So I found that if you go like that, jam this in here, and press them both at the same time, that like that, and it comes out. Once you get the gray clip up, it is just a matter of pressing, applying pressure right here with your thumb. I know my thumb's in the way. And it comes right off pressing right here all right fuel injector connectors are off and we move those aside all right in the interest of being extremely thorough that is coming from the fuel rail and it's going that's good to get it right there it's going to the top of the intake manifold on that nipple right there and that's what it looks like I already pulled it off so it goes from it goes from there and to back up, back off so you can see where that is on the driver's side. And that goes well, to there. Fuel rail. Fuel rail intake manifold nipple. Alright, so the quick disconnect is supposed to be quick. It's supposed to be easy. You're supposed to be able to just push and push and and it comes right off. Unfortunately, on the Chevy engine, they don't tell you about this bracket that's hiding on the other side. You can't do anything with the bracket in place. You have to pull the bracket off. That's the sucker right there. Once you pull the bracket off, then you go in, oh, actually this is a smaller one. This is the yellow guy. You go in and it's as simple as push and push and you're done. But if nobody tells you about these brackets and you don't know about the brackets, you're in for a loss of about two hours and a lot of banging your head against the wall. That's it. All right, as far as the intake manifold is concerned, we're getting close. Um, still have to disconnect that uh, uh, vacuum hose to the brake booster. All right, intake manifolds are being held down by a whole bunch of these 8mm guys, so uh, we'll get to those now. Okay, so uh, there's five on each side, and then I'm also going after this guy right here. He will also be in the same bag, so I have to figure out what the little deal is with him. Well, it's hard to hold the light and do everything all at the same time. So, that comes off. Yeah, I'm just going to get the end. So the bottom line is that this guy right here, 8mm, which will be in the same bag as these guys right here, which actually are the last thing to hold the intake manifold down. Anyhow, this guy, he is partnered up with this thing right here and it looks like the plastic thing stays on so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on even though it's pretty pretty flimsy I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on this part right here and set it aside unless it does completely come off which it did all right 
change that, it's going to be in the bag too. And it was... Alright, starting to get to the point where I don't remember what's what. But this little 8mm guy and this little plastic thing that goes with him, a rubber thing, is what I'm calling the 8mm width. That's not really a bracket, it's really a rubber thing. It's going in this bag too. And oh by the way, the intake manifold is off. Um, but I found this little thing. And I have no idea what it is. But it fell off when the intake manifold came out. So that's going to go in this bag as well. So it's all being documented. Oh, and we're going to put the little gas clips in there too. Those are the few fuel line clip things that would not allow me to get to use these tools properly. That's going in that bag too, as indicated by the words. All right. So at this juncture, the intake manifold is out of the car. There's the bag with all the intake manifold stuff. And then we'll go over to the car and take a look at what it looks like as of right now. So that's where we're at. And that's what things look like in terms of what we're going to be working against when we have to put that thing back in. Thank you.